It is finally done. The Ptolemies are reeling from their abject defeat in Anatolia. Ariathus has served me well, just like he did my father. The same cannot be said for those snakes at court. I'd sooner traverse a thousand battlefields than face these maggots every day. Letters pour in from court, from my own brother, lords and nobles, and even merchantmen. Each letter behind its perfume lines has hidden messages and assumptions. Each line filled to the brim with poison, dripping with acidic pleasantries and desperate hope for power and attention. Men write to me to tell me of betrayal, only to realize their rival sent a letter about them also. I am living in a land of post-truth, and friends no longer walk my halls. But there has been some letters of note amongst the selfishness and self-serving letters. My brother, whom I cannot trust, writes of Bactrian nobles and some eastern nobles frequenting the capital together. This may not seem odd in times of peace, but for the fact that they meet in secret. If Bactria betrays us, after all the settlers and coin we have sent them, I will make sure that they burn. And if my brother is right, then it goes a long way to restoring my trust in him, as a brother should have. But for now, I must keep on marching through Ptolemaic lands, liberating their cities. Our march south is strong, and we are buoyed by Ariathus' glory in Anatolia. And as long as we remain victorious, the infighters and schemers remain in the shadows like the cowards they are. So march forth, my men, so I can leave my troubles behind. Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today... We are continuing our Seleucid campaign in RTR Imperium Serectum, episode 9, yes, fantastic. Last episode, we kicked the Ptolemies out of Anatolia. They still have a few islands dotted around us. These two, I believe, they've also got Naxos and one other one over here. I think that's Naxos, maybe, but they've got a couple of settlements out here. They've still got this one, Mytilene, that the Pergamon have been trying to take for years um, and they have Cyprus still, which will be a very rich place to take. Because I believe there's five settlements on there. We're also uh, coming down south, beating them back, which is fantastic, good fun. And uh, we should beat them back, hopefully, all the way to Alexandria very soon. Um, and you can see that the, these uh, settlements down here. So, yeah, that's Ferrantis. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, I think this does have its own settlement. Okay, this one's part of Alusa. I think there is a settlement here then somewhere. Uh, my spy will find them eventually. But I think we're at the end of a turn, guys. Uh, and we'll uh, click the end turn button. So I'm sorry for the uh, slow delivery of these episodes so far, guys. But uh, I lost my voice again. And yeah, you can't record you can't record videos when you sound like a uh, Mr. Squeaky from Toy Story or whatever he's called, the Squeaky Dog. Um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, you can kind of hear it in my voice still a little bit. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna continue. We're gonna smash out these episodes, try and get a few recorded, uh, so that we've got plenty of you for today, plenty of episodes for you going forward, guys. Um, and I hope you've been enjoying them. I really have. We've got a lot of people coming of age. We've got a city expands. Susa, fantastic. Into a large city. Uh, Apamelia Kibotos. We'll repair that as well. That'd be fantastic. We've got four people coming of age. Kamnas Gires. How old are you? 58. Uh, well, for now, we'll move Kamnas Gires to somewhere where there isn't a governor. I think the best option will be Kaizikos, because it's larger. So let's go for that. Get you in there, my friend. A Chaos. You're over here. Adramarka's only 36 anyway, so that's fine. Uh, where do we want to put you? We have generals pretty much in a lot of these settlements. I think we'll put you into Mesos. Let's go with that. 
Get in Termesos, my friend. Oh, wait. Is there someone in Termesos? Oh, no. It's just Akontista. That's fine. Antiochus. Oh, fantastic. Wait. So, Antiochus is your child, I believe. Antiochus. Antiochus the third. And then another Kamnaskires, which is in Passa. Oh, that's an interesting place for you to go. I think we'll send you up to the rioting place. That's actually perfect. You might not be very good at stopping the rioting. Yep. You have one influence, though, so that should stop the rioting, right? Yeah. Interesting. Uh, and then a candidate for adoption. Antipatros. Where are you? Uh, let's go find you. There we are. You're in Trelaeus. Uh, I think we've got generals in pretty much all of these. Okay, apparently not Nidos. So, let's get you in Nidos. Going to take you a couple of turns to get there. We've got a lot of civil disorder again. That's very annoying. Um, what can we build straight away? I think it's that. That's the only thing, really. Uh, Ekbatana is very, very unhappy right now. So let's repair those. I think repairing those and that finishing will be enough uh, to put them over the edge. And then Tarsus, probably likely because we're building the uh, the upgrade over here. Can't recruit anyone. Is there anyone? Yeah, I can recruit there. So if it comes to it, we'll have to move. Oh, maybe you can move out. Let's have a look. Yeah, you can. Fantastic. Get you in Tarsus. Wait, yeah, there we are. Fantastic. Upgraded. Uh, yeah. And we won't recruit you anymore. We don't need you. Uh, a new son adopted. Yep. Fantastic. Bactria is the most advanced faction. Really? Wow. Well done, Bactria. Even though you're getting pushed back by Parthia. Right, Stakra. Uh, yeah, we're not going to build based on, uh, based on that. That's cost us a lot of money, all of that sort of stuff. We've also got another general down here. Where did you come from? Wait, so these are both Antiochus' sons, I believe. Let's have a look. Yeah, they are both his sons. Which one's a better general? Sober. Seleucus. He's not really got any general traits. And then Seleucus... Drinker for command. Uh, yeah, probably better to take Seleucos, honestly. Although Antiochus starts with two, so I guess we'll take him. Uh, secondly, let's get these guys off the boats. And let's see who we want to leave behind. So, uh, auto sort everyone. Let's see who we want to take with us. So, uh, we'll start merging a few of these. And, uh, funny enough, guys. I, uh, didn't realize that you can all, you can manually merge these by pressing control. <laughs> because it all changed from the original. But, yeah, you can manually, manually merge these by pressing control. Oh, bollocks. That's re removed one. Well, I tell you what we'll send. What have we got over here? We've not got much cavalry in here. But that's fine. We'll send these guys back. Maybe not the slingers. Is this the four eye though? Definitely. So we'll send these guys back for retraining. And you can come and join the army. Why have we got a, uh, a Peltast in there? Ooh, okay. Oh, we do have two Akontistai in there for no reason. I'm thinking one of you guys, which one was the worst? So, Lucas, you can go and govern Jerusalem, because it is a minor city. And then we'll uh, yeah, auto-sort these boys, and then we'll get our army together. So, we want the infantry first, get you out. Uh, and then we'll look at getting archers, if we can. Get in there, archers. Then the slingers. Slingers, and then cavalry. Yeah, the Peltasts are just there to, to garrison towns. And what we're going to do... Oh, okay, so they have removed some of their army from Alusa. Interesting. 
Not necessarily something I wanted. I wanted to siege them out in there. That would have been great. Uh, and we are training some guys down here as well. To fill in garrisons. So you guys come along to here. Just remember we've got a load of people in Gaza. <laughs> so should we go for this battle then? What have they got? Peltas, Prodromoy, Akontistai, Nubian Spearman, and a general. I, I mean, I think so. so. Let's do it. I think we'll fight this one. First battle of the episode. Anyway, guys, I will see you on the battle map. If you can smell Here we are. Ripe, that's your enemy. Yes, that's what fear does it is. Weaklings when they face the proud sons of Hercules. That's what you've done to them already. Fantastic. Antiochus, the big boy. The conqueror. Uh, yeah, we'll have one army come in this way, one in that way. Um, and that's pretty much it. I'll use Chalcospides to uh, hold the line. So we'll get two over this side, one over here. One archer this side. Archer this side. And slingers over here. Zistaforoi and my uh, generals can go around the other side. Get there. And uh, three of you over there. Three of us over here. I really just want to use my archers up as much as I can. Are they coming out? Interesting. Nice little uh, conundrum for them. If they want to come and charge my Chalka Speeders, be my guest, my friends. Be my guest. Um, and then off Phalanx for you, boy. Over here. What is this? Greek Peltas. Maybe I should have left some cavalry around here because they're probably going to run away still. We get these guys here. They should be able to fire at them quite soon. Okay, he's bringing some Peltas forward. Akontistai. Let's go for him. Are they charging? Wow. Wow. Anyone over here? Some Namidian cavalry. Are you firing yet? Come on, boys. Fire away. I can just I should die pretty quickly. Then we'll use our archers and stuff, like some of you have suggested in the comments, to uh, get these people off the town square if possible. Oh, you just come and join that just for fun. Uh, what are you? Numid Nubian cavalry. Get you in phalanx just in case. Okay, they've gone. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Didn't even lose a single Chalka Spear that is in that. Get there. Got anyone over this side yet? Not really. Just get in that little uh, spot there. Oh, they're going this way, so our cavalry should be able to uh, kill them. Gonna get our Chalka Speeders down here. Chalka speeders. Oh, wait, wrong Chalka speeders. Wait, halt. Let's move forward, though. Oh, why can't you? That, that's annoying. Get in there. Uh, you guys, let's get you here. Should be able to fire on the cavalry. Uh, how are we doing over here? Good. You there. You guys kind of want you behind just in case. So get you there. And then we'll get our archers over this way. Potentially the best place would be around here if we can fit you in with the pathing. But at the minute we can't. <laughs> so you have to go there, my friend. Then we'll get you guys up there. So who's this? Prodromoy. Okay, cool. 
Hmm. I'm not sure we can take them straight away. Okay, they have charged in. Very stupid of them. Yes, kill them. I'll send you in as well. God, pathing, bro. God damn. Get your phalanx. I missed that. I missed that. Phalanx. <laughs> phalanx, bro. You guys come this way as well. Bro, phalanx. So I have to send the other phalanx in. And ideally, if we can get behind these guys, that would be fantastic. They've only got some mercenary Nubian spearmen. Not the greatest of units. We should be shredding these guys. Come on. Oh, they're just getting battered, these Chalka Speeders now, unfortunately. All because of me. They do have their general in there, but we should kill them pretty easily now. Come on, the boys. Let's go. Charge them. Yes. Kill them all. Oh, I reckon um, they're losing a few men because the Prodromoi have a... Uh, Chucking jabbies at them as well. Yeah, get in that fight. Oh, making them all routes. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Kill that general's bodyguard. How are we doing over here now? Good. Let's keep coming forward. I think we'll just send our our hoplites into the into the mix. I'm not too bothered about fighting these guys on the town square. Then they're, they're not exactly the most powerful. He cannot run. He cannot hide. He will die. Foolish man. Kill the Nubian uh, cavalry. Then we'll get you guys. Like I said, probably not really a, any need to. Just charge them. Just charge them once. As long as the general doesn't die. I, I don't think he's on the front line there. Now let's... Uh, we'll come out this way. Get going, Chalka Speedes. Oh, wrong one. Where's my... Uh, Oplites? Oh, get in there. Get in there, my boys. Get in there. And then we'll get the Chalka Speedes behind them. And create a lovely sandwich. As usual. Nom 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 nom. Nom 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 nom. Let's go. Cheeky little sandwich. Get moving, boys. Push through him. This tends to normally kill a lot of them when you do that little push. Probably because their uh, pikes are, are dealing out damage. There's not many of them left. 15. Where have they all gone? Oh, they're over here. Um, hello, cavalry. I like to charge that. Yeah, I, I, I don't think there's 15 of them left anymore. <laughs> God, this last guy is an absolute beast. Did you see how much he withstood? What an animal. Very good. Um, Yeah. Jalka speed as we lost a lot, and we're not getting any healing on them. Getting some healing on the Hoplites. Uh, but everyone did pretty well. They did better than they uh, lost, so... What can I what can I complain about? Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. Fantastic. Alusa is now ours. And of course, we will enslave again. It has just been upgraded into a large town. It is Arab culture as well. Very good. Very interesting. Uh, first thing we will build, however, is a wall. <laughs> uh, I do not want them coming and taking this back so quickly. Um, where was the next settlement? It's over there, but there is one down here somewhere. I wish they had built roads. Yeah, Raithu. Yeah, I wish they had built roads so I could see where it was. So all of this is Ferrantis. Oh, Requemo. Ah, there's another one over here somewhere. I'm thinking in terms of movement our arm moving our army. We go for that one. I don't want to leave settlements behind. I know it's very tempting to go straight up into Alexandria right now, but I don't want to leave settlements behind. Although, I am pretty much getting to the point now. You know, we go for Arsinoe Klisma? I don't know. Um, 
any of these can move properly? Yeah, you can. Good. Um, once we've sent these guys back, should probably recruit in Antioch a little bit. Um, let's recruit a couple more Chalka Speeders. And I'll spend all my money on recruitment for this turn. And then I think it doesn't have a big garrison, so I don't need to send my whole army. Once these guys are retrained and we've got some more, we'll have pretty much two armies. And I might send them out with uh, Seleucos. <clears throat> Great namesake there. And then over here, what were we doing? You're going into there. Yeah, that's now happy. Great. You're going into here for retraining. Fantastic. They're all gonna you're gonna form the basis of our Cappadocian army. Don't have the money to retrain you yet though. Uh where's me big army gone? Yeah, you are going into this area to find that settlement. Where is it? <laughs> you see it yet? You can see it. A, a general? That's the border, though, so it can't be up there. We don't see it yet. Where is it? Ah, oh, it's there. We might get attacked by these guys first, but I'm not too bothered. Stick the Ellie's at the end. Oh, we've got some good experience in these guys so far. So maybe, Diego, I was complaining too much, <laughs> if you're watching this, um, <laughs> about the experience. I, I didn't realize we had so much experience with those guys. Okay, brought that up to 68%. That's okay. Yeah, you shouldn't be rioting anymore. Very good. Very good. I think we're in a fantastic situation. What are my diplomat doing? Go talk to the Thracians. Uh, do you want an alliance, my friends? Oh, baby. Hit me with that alliance. Whoop, whoop. Oh, God. Did I just whoop, whoop? Oh, God. I am not a juggalo, guys. Okay, I promise. I'm not. A most generous proposal. Genuinely not. <laughs> Oh, well, things have taken a turn in this episode. Uh, but anyway, let's move north to sp speak to some filthy barbarians. They can still speak, so it's alright. Uh, we should also probably go speak to the Bosporans at some point. That'd be nice. That'd be good to get trading with them, because they can actually trade with us. Um, especially when we start taking northern Anatolia. Uh, yeah, big army. So you're going to go there. And then what do I want to do? I think I just want to hop across to Cyprus. So I'd like to queue a Byream in there and just hop across. Hop, 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 hop. Well then. Uh, yeah, I think we're I think we're, we're at a decent spot. Let's uh, end the turn. Okay, we had you moving. That's fine. Okay, we have had a rebellious settlement. Was that Ak Ekbatana? Oh, that's the first of the rebellious sort of rebellions we've had that we've not um, engineered ourselves. Oh, Bactria, really? God damn it, bro. This is this is tough. Because, first of all, I have no idea where they are. I mean, all this land out here is pretty useless, though. It doesn't make much money, so I'm not too bothered about losing it. But we do have to mount a response to that. Uh, candidate for adoption. Uh, let's go to where you are. Oh, you're in Sardis. Okay, anywhere around here doesn't have a governor. I think everywhere does. Oh, we've got two people in here as well. Uh, where doesn't have a general? Patara doesn't. Oh, uh, these two don't. So, where were you, that double general? Over here? Yeah. Let's go to Termesos. And then you in Sardis. Send you down to Patara. Town expands. Isonian. Fantastic. Even though you're probably going to get taken by Bactria pretty soon. Uh, yeah, Ekbatana's civil revolt. Do you know what we do then, I think? We take this army from in here. That's been waiting for Parthia for some time. And we go to take back Ekbatana. It's so far away though. I don't think it'd take too long to get there. It's going to take a while to get up to Bactria, isn't it? God damn it, bro. Ah, well. 
how happy are you if we leave just one person in? I'm assuming very unhappy, but you're on high tax rate. Low. Uh, potentially leave another guy in there, though, as well. 68%. I think that's good enough. 68 here as well. 92. So anywhere over here where I can actually recruit. Ekbatana was the one place I could actually recruit people. Don't think there's anywhere over this way that I can. Uh, generally, though, the AI is quite slow at Conquest, so we do have some time. It would be nice. Oh. Yeah, we need the uh, the colonies to start recruiting more. Unless there's anywhere here that's a Greek colony. Oh. No. No. We do have... So your second level Greek colony... So I think we build that second level, and then we'll build City Barracks. I'm going to spend my money doing this, just so we've got somewhere to recruit up in this area, because we don't at the minute. And it's so far from anything else, that it's really a bit of a problem. Uh, so first things first. How long is it going to take you? It's only going to take you three turns to get to Egbertana. It's not too bad. We'll join up with uh, Captain whatever his name is. And, yeah, it's not too bad. Uh, but really, we need our own independent recruitment centers over here, like I've just said. How about uh, you over here, Alexandria Susia? Yeah, you don't really have anything, any recruitment buildings. That's why this one is the best, because it actually has a barracks already. Uh, by Pautis? Yeah. Hmm. Bactria betraying us. Shocking. I hate you, Bactria, now. Disgusting. Disgusting. Filthy. But anyway, it was going to happen at some point, wasn't it? I'm just surprised they didn't go for Parthia first, because Parthia looks like they're uh, attacking their lands. Um, but yeah. Look, Iconian, do you know what? No, you're going to be... You are going to be a recruitment hub, right? So... Do you know what? We'll go for an archery range. Because we want to recruit a lot of missile cavalry against Cappadocia, basically, don't we? That looks like you guys. Why are you all the way over there, bro? Yeah, I think that's the same person. We'll take this anyway. Oh, wait. We can assault it already? I'm just going to auto-resolve that. Cyrus... You're dead now, Cyrus. I'm sorry. Wow. Not a happy place. Not a happy place. So, first things first. Shrine to Hera. Um, and then we should recruit a Byream. I don't think I have the money for it right now, though. Ah, annoying. Oh, well. Where are you going, my friend? You are going to Nidos. Good. We've got pretty much governors in so many places now. Kaizikos can upgrade. Well, I can't upgrade it yet. Going down a little bit in cash. Where's my boat? There it is. Oh, that's a bit annoying. We can't reach there. Oh, we can. Uh, and then we'll retrain at Antioch. We are going over here. Cool. Good, 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 good. I'm I, I, I don't know where that other half of the army went, but I kind of want to know where. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's keep scouting out ahead. We should also probably get a spy up here. I don't know if there's anywhere we can. Hmm, just a diplomat. I mean, a diplomat still provides some form of uh, vision, but not much. We will be uh, toggling fog of war in the next episode, so we'll maybe be able to see where some of these settlements are when it comes down to it. We need a market in one of these places. This would be the best option. Yeah. So we'll build a market there next turn. And we'll build a Byream as well because we've got to do that. So let us... Yeah. Let us... Let us end the turn. What happens? Oh, hello. Oh. Yeah, which faction is this? <laughs> Is this the RDI? 
Doesn't tell me. Um, trade rights? A most generous proposal. Map for map, so I can see where you are. A most generous proposal. Looks like you're only there. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, we'll keep coming up. I think we'll go towards the Bosporans now. And there's also the Scythians up here somewhere. I don't really want to fight them at any point, really. <sighs> Ekbatana is just... Look at that huge sliver of land that Ekbatana has taken out of our empire. Right in the middle as well. Very annoying. But there isn't much we can do about it. So, let us end the turn. See what happens. Okay, does that is that one rebelled to Cappadocia as well then? Hmm, so things are starting to get tough. We've had a pretty nice start, but things are starting to get tough. Very tough. Hmm. Oh well, it'll be fine. Free peoples, come on. Ah, well, lots of rioting. So, another civil re revolt in Tyana. Oh, God, that's given him loads of troops as well. God damn it, bro. What is these rebels doing? Go away. I think it's really expedient to do this right now. Retrain those boys. That has just given them an extra army. <laughs> well, I think we're going to have to basically... Get, leave Cyprus for now. Why can you only move so far? You guys go in there. Oh, wait. They've gone straight back to being happy. I think it's time we go and fight Cappadocia. It does put us bordering the Galatians even more. And Armenia, but... Armenia is still neutral right now. Hmm. Just annoyed by the Bactrians. God damn, bro. Problem is, this army is not well equipped to fight their horse archer style armies. Damascus has got unhappy. God damn, bro. Some of these people. Yeah. Another candidate for adoption. Adoption not completed. That's okay. Another coming of age. Achaeus. Wait, four influence already, bro. That's that's insane. That's insane. Are you just a large town? I think we need you in there. Oh, unless this hasn't got a governor. Yeah, we'll take you to Bertha. Get up there, my friend. And Eumenes. He's over here in Alexandria Prophasia. Well, what I think we do is send you up to Alexandria Ariane, where we're trying to const uh, construct a bit of an army to fight Bactria. Um, yeah, cool. Sardis got the execution square. That's quite good. Oh, yeah, we need to build upgrade in here. We also need to build a bireme across here. Not that it's really needed right now. But I think it'll be a quick war against Cappadocia. I, that's, it's a bit annoying that they have one all the way up there. But these ones are quite close together, and they don't have huge amounts of armies. They just have annoying armies, really hard armies to fight. I mean, in fact, we could go and uh, actually retrain in Iconian. So let's do that. Not going to be able to retrain the Zistaphoroi or the Chalcospides. Uh, but the rest of these guys, we can. That'd be great. Um, merge you. Merge you. I uh, can't merge you guys. Yeah, I can't merge any of you. Could spread that experience around. So if we do that. Yeah, it gave them a little bit of extra experience. That's quite good. Um, and then we'll merge you as well. It's not helped that much. But a little bit of extra experience for free. Can never say no. I think everything's good. We need some buildings, though. So let's... Uh, did I have a look at the rioting places? It was just Damascus. Is there anything we want to build here? 
Let's build the second temple of Hera just to make them stop rioting. It's goddamn annoying. <laughs> stop your rioting, fools! Yeah, they classic. They've got no one in there, but they have this army. Okay, a big army. Let's go then. Let's go, boys. A big battle. Big field battle in the desert. Big field battle. Don't have much cavalry. They've got two generals just like us. Oh, wait. They ran away. Oh, my God. At least none of them is like... The, as le at least they don't have the faction heir and faction leader in one. Because I think you can still... I think you can regicide. Fail, but they got five generals in that army, guys. Five! <laughs> They've got no infantry, really. So, I'm going to have to rely on my infantry fighting those generals. I'm not... My cavalry will not beat their cavalry. That's for sure. But anyway, I mean... We are Antiochus... 10 command already. He's only 33 and 10 influence as well. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, let us kill five of their generals. I'll see you on the battle map. Here we are. Today is a good day to We're going to start on that hill because they will. Well, they'll start on one of the hills. That's a pretty cool map. And it's also, just a note, it's raining on the Sinai Peninsula. I'm not saying that doesn't happen. <laughs> But how often does that happen? I don't know. Does anyone anyone out there who lives on the Sinai, um, let me know. Let me know. Um, I can't imagine that's too many people. Um, yeah. Our missile troops are going to be very invaluable. We will use our cavalry, but mainly to chase down their missile boyos. Where are they? That is that is the question. Okay, they've started on the other hill, so... Yeah, it looks like they're re readjusting. Um, so, is there a good way for me to assault this hill? Not really, apart from all the way around the back. Um, so, I'll tell you what, stop running. What we'll do... I'm going to group you all. Um... Yeah, lock the formation. What I'm going to do is walk them all the way around. Like this way. Because I do not want to assault up that hill. Stop running, stop running, stop running. We'll rest them a little bit before we do assault the hill. Look at all the generals. they got skirmishes. I don't think they... Have they got archers? Yeah, we've got the range on them. So we can actually try and force them off the hill. I do want to come around this way as much as possible. Okay, it doesn't really look like we're going to be able to come around this way too much. Because of the edge of the map. So let's go there. Don't run. Don't run, my friends. And then what we'll do... I'm going to send these guys forward and these guys here. Okay, they're readjusting now. Good. Yeah, Chalka Speed, as you can run now. Uh, I'll just slow it down a little bit for a second. And we'll get our cavalry out this side as well. Just in case they decide to mount an attack on my missile boyos. Which I don't want to happen, of course. Make sure the Thropero are on fire at will. The Theroperoi and the, the Greek Hoplites, I'm, 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 I'm sorry, but you are the meat grinder of this operation, my friends. <laughs> you are the meat grinders. You are going to be stuck in the meat grinder. Come on, Chalka Speeders, you're so slow. I know you've got armor and big, big, like, uh, pikes and that, but... Bro... Bro, you slow. Now, hopefully we can try and see whether we can force them off the hill here. I, I think very unlikely, but <laughs> it's still a possibility. We should shred that Libyan skirmisher anyway. 
Especially these guys with their silver experience. Come on, boys. Let's go. So we're going to get our Chalka Speed Airs around this side. Okay, our Chalka Speed Airs are very, very, very upset right now. Very tired. So we'll leave them be for a second. Put it on speed up. Now they're retreating. Interesting. That kind of gives us the top of the hill, right? So while my Chalka Speed Airs are resting... Let's try and get up here. I'm gonna make these guys a little bit tired, but oh well. Up. I'll send my uh, cavalry with them as well. So you guys get up there, and then we'll send our missile boyos. Hmm. I don't really want to send them around this side, uh, just in case, but we will. Uh, so we've kind of taken the hill now. <laughs> Tactical battle. I want to stay on top of the hill. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Keep pushing, my boyos. God, a lot of tired bodies out there. Our missile troops are actually not going to be... Probably going to be inconsequential now that we've taken the hill. Hmm. Well, I think we go down the hill. Let's go. It's our hill now. It's Austerlitz. This is our Austerlitz. Uh, what we need is these Chalka Speed Airs to back up these guys fighting up there. We also need you guys to kind of come on top of the hill. Okay, if they're going to just run away, fine. Stay back. We'll, we'll fire at them until they die. What, they're running away now as well? What is the point? <laughs> like, why? You have to stand and fight at some point. Are they dumb? Are they thick? What are they doing? Damn AI, bro. They're fuming sometimes. I mean, these guys are not going to be able to... Okay, they, they've got to charge us now because they think that uh, our archers and that are exposed, but whatever. And we'll uh, keep our cavalry back then. This is our Austerlitz, boys. Get decided against it. What? What is the point of you? Why are you just standing back doing nothing, bro? Like, there is literally no point in you whatsoever. Now they're coming forward again. This makes no sense. I don't really care if they get hit if they want to, if they do charge us. Because I need them to charge us to like kick them into action to do something rather than just running away. So they have been kicked into action now. Hopefully we can run through our pikes and they'll run into our pikes. Are they joking me? What are they doing, bro? Like, I, if I advance, they just run away. So what is the point? Like, literally, what is the point? You guys get forward. I'll leave my guys standing there. Fire at these guys. Fire at these. That's their full general. God damn, why won't they engage? Just engage. 
What are you? Nubian Spearman. We can handle you quite easily. Well, now they're running away. What? Like, literally, what is the point? What am I supposed to do? It's like Cappadocia all over again. All right. Well, I think it's time to get it. If they're not going to use their cavalry, I'm going to use mine. They give me all the advantage they can. No problem. I'm not bothered. Not one, as you can tell by my voice, not bothered at all. They, they, they have infantry. They could be attacking me. But they decide not to. Because they're idiots. Well, I, I don't even mean attacking me. Just engage me. Just stop running away. For God's sake. That was the most terrible charge I've ever seen, bro. That was awful. Awful charge. All of those guys got some of those guys got a bit of experience though. We're just like a rampaging horde right now. And it's literally gonna play out like that, isn't it? It's literally gonna play out like a rampaging horde. <laughs> He's not running away. He's dead. He's bloody dead. All right. He's dead. But I think we just charged it. Yeah, they've all routed now. Oh my god. They're right next to the edge of the campaign map. Uh, the battle map, though. And pretty much all of them are cavalry, so they're gonna survive. That's the most annoying thing about it. going boys so much cavalry they're gonna survive so much but at least we kill all their infantry uh, we didn't really kill any of their generals apart from one <laughs> so oh well oh this guy's this guy's asking for it though what a terrible battle we did the Austerlitz on them and then they just all ran away <laughs> what fools what fools Fool of a duke. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's much more we can do. Who's getting killed? Ready. Ah, they're gone. This is a oh, well. I mean, we killed 600, to be fair. They only got 174 left. Really? It'll be all generals' bodyguards, though. That's all right, though. I, I mean, if they just want to fight me with just generals' bodyguards... Not too bad. I mean, we could, they're probably going to retreat to the city, so we can trap them in there. Anyway, I'll see you on the campaign map, guys. Here we are, guys. Victory. And it looks like they did retreat into the city. Six turns, though. I can't wait six turns. Hmm. Well, we will siege it down. We will ram down those gates. And kill them all. Yes. That sounds like the best option. Um, yeah. And then we'll move into... We'll move up to Pelusion. And Tanis. And then eventually across to Alexandria. Is... Okay. Okay. Looks like... So the, there is more settlements here. Wait. Nile Delta is wilderness. Bro. So Nile Delta is all Tanis, and then Canopos, then Mariotis is where Alexandria is. So there's another settlement on here somewhere. Cool, though. Good. Yes, we moved them. Have we moved this other army? Yes, we have. I think we're at the end turn, then. We do have some stuff to build. Uh, what do we want to build? I didn't move the boat. No, I didn't. So that might be what we want to do. Retrain these boys. I don't say bothered about the Prodromoy, honestly, but. Yeah. I'd rather retrain you. We will retrain that Prodromoy, though, seeing as it does have a lot of experience. Um, I think we're good. I think we're good. Just so annoyed by Bactria, bro. Still six turns for them. I mean, they don't have the greatest of armies, but it's still enough to uh, beat that Akontistai army, isn't it? 
Uh, this army, have I moved you wherever you are? No, I haven't. So, down to Ekbatana, my friend. It's an eight turn siege on Ekbatana. And I have no idea what they have. That is the problem. Can I recruit anything here? No, just Peltasts. Oh well. Oh well. God, it's going to take us ages to get up to here. But by that time, we should hopefully be able to recruit some guys in these places. Uh, yeah, in these places. Hopefully. I mean, maybe not, but hopefully. <laughs> we shall see. So let us end the turn there. Yeah, keep going. Go up to uh, Bosporus. You're going into that settlement. Cool. Uh, Egypt has uh, blockaded a port. I don't really care. Oh, well. Scary Egypt. Don't be so scary. Ah, okay. I mean, we will fight this just in case. Wait, this army will fight to the... Why will they fight to the death? They're sieging me down. Well, that means if we win, they, they all die. Which would be quite hilarious, but I doubt we win. <laughs> so I'll see you on the battle map, guys. A battle is never an easy Here we are, guys. Days, especially before breakfast. Before never breakfast, run. I know. They might, you know, have their uh, their ram destroyed by the towers. That would be the ideal thing, but it is raining. And I don't know whether that does make a difference or not. Um, but anyway. I just want to create as much damage as possible. So mainly, the most damage we can do is throwing our jabbies from the walls at them. Who's taking it? Akontistai. Please, please destroy that ram. That would just be hilarious. I don't know whether just destroying that ram means that whole army dies, but it would be great, wouldn't it? Oh my god. They, they, they. Ah-ha! Oh, fantastic. Oh, you should have got more rams, bro. Why do you only take one? Anyway, guys, I'll see you back on the campaign map. Here we are, guys. And they went. <laughs> Oh, that is just hilarious. Poor Bactria. I could do with some uh, watchtowers up here so I could actually see what's going. Oh, come on, rebels. I guess they did lose their homeland. I guess we have to fight them. <laughs> Luckily, the good thing with rebels is that they die when you fight them. Um, Achilos. Yes. Chaos. Where are you? You're over here. We've got so many governors, it's ridiculous. It must be costing us a lot. We are going down in money with our new found armies, but we should be going back up. Uh, so, Kias can go. Caracasian, a large town. I think we go Selgate. It'll take you a little bit of time to get there, but that's okay. Priest of Dionysus, Seleucus of Ephesus, Priest of Dionysus, good. Very good. That's upgraded now as well. Uh, how is the religion coming along? Yeah, it's a bit unfortunate. You're also quite unhappy, so anything I can do to make you happier... Which is nothing right now, unfortunately. We'll build a farm there, though. Build that farm. And then when they become a, large, uh, a minor city, we can uh, actually start increasing how large they are. Uh, can we take all of you out of Gaza or not? We can now. So you're going to come down here. Hopefully you don't find any uh, guys along the way. So, yeah, they've got Memphis over here. That's their capital. Would be quite nice to take their capital. Is it a large city? 
No, it's still a minor city. I believe Alexandria is a large city, yeah. Ah, interesting. Yeah, we can't really tell where all their settlements are over here, but... Uh, we will we will do the Toggle Fog of War next turn, and uh, next uh, episode, and we will see where they are. Now, let's retrain that Prodromoy and get... I think... One more Zistaphoroi, and then that'll be good. And then we'll pretty much have kind of two armies over this way. We'll have a smaller army that we can go and take Raithu, for example. Uh, I'm just... That is quite hilarious. Oh, we wanted to build a market over here somewhere, didn't we? Here, for example. We can't. Here, no. We still don't have a trader. You're still building. You're still building. How about here? Yeah, let's, let's build a market there. Bizpaltis, so that we can uh, eventually get a spy. Can also build one there, but we're already building. Uh, we need to focus on our economy for a couple of turns, because we are really starting to uh, get hammered on the economy right now. Um... You can't get retrained anyway, so... I just want to put in the guys that can get retrained. And we're not going to have enough money, are we? Oh, we are. Just about. That's cool. That's good. Uh, we're going to have to have a look around our settlements in a little bit. And start de destroying some of this Akontistis and stuff. Because we are getting to the point now where... We've got too many troops again. Like, for example, these ones we can get rid of. Uh, I don't want to, like, some of these settlements with just a general in are a bit of a problem. Because if the general dies, we're screwed, aren't we? So, it is nice to have that extra troop in there with the general. Or the governor, should I say. Um, but, yeah. Ariathus, you are an okay general for being 37. But Al Chaos, you're probably better, honestly. And who? And you, Theodotas, you were leading the men against Cappadocia to start with. Not that it's been a very successful mission, all is all I can say. So you have been relieved of your command, good sir. Um, and then yeah, down here we're ready to siege that down, which we will do. Uh, I think we wait one more turn. Anyway. Yeah, I think we wait one more turn. So we built that in Alusa. Let's build Shrine Tahira. How is Byzantium getting along? Uh, sorry, Byzantium, Babylon. Yeah, good. You're going to be a large city soon. Where was the one that we were upgrading to a large city? Is it? Yeah, Seleucia is already a large city as well, which is fantastic. Uh, light weapons, law, and trade income bonus. I mean, I think trade income bonus at a capital is, is by far the best there. Let's have a look at what that does. Yeah, another 600. So it's actually probably about 300 bonus because it takes away some of the taxes. But look at that trade. 7,000 trade on an inland province. That's pretty obscene. Um, and I think we're good. I think we're good there, aren't we? Well then, well guys, I think we're going to end that there for today. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe as usual. It does really help the channel out. And I will see you again on the next video.